This episode is brought to you by Rune. Rune 1.8 is an immersive new music experience featuring a new look, new intelligence, and new features designed for music fanatics. Click the link in the description box below for more information. Let's talk about Apple Music again, because my last video about it was a bit of a grumble on multiple levels. And I really don't think I did the technical side of it justice. Since I shot that video, Apple Music actually launched its lossless service. And we can see if we go into the settings on an iPad, because you have to go into the settings and go to music and then go to audio quality then we have options for lossless up to 48 and then high res lossless 24, 96, 24, 192. Now, I think it's brilliant that Apple have introduced lossless CD quality across the board. But if you want to do, I don't know, like 24, 48, so I'll give you an example, like this REM best of in time, that comes out at 24, 48. And you'll get 2448 if you're using AirPlay or if you're using TV OS, so an Apple TV, or if you're even using the, the lightning to three and a half mil dongle here. 2448, you're covered pretty much with most Apple devices and services. But if you want to go above 2448, so if you basically want to go into the high res lossless streaming audio quality, then you're going to hear plenty of roadblocks, which I talked about a lot in my last video. So if you want to do 2496 or 24192 on AirPlay, you can't. If you want to do 2496 or 24192 on TV OS, you can't. If you want to do 2496 and 24192 using this dongle, you cannot. So today I want to show you what I think is the best way to get high res lossless out of Apple Music. So that's basically the 2496 and 2492 stuff. And we're gonna use an iPad. Now remember, this only does 2448, so can't use that. What I am gonna use is the Lightning to USB adapter here. Now we can connect an external DAC, and the key here really is external DAC. This is a $99 USB DAC from AudioQuest called the Dragonfly Black and we connect it in here, and then we connect it to here. If you're rocking an iPad Pro, that's USB-C, then you'll need a USB-C to USB-A adapter. It's the same principle, really. And then what we can do is three and a half mil out, connect that to here, and then this goes out to our amplifier. So basically we're running Apple Music on an iPad, the digital audio comes out of the, the lightning port into the DAC, the DAC converts it to analog, comes out of this cable that goes into our hi-fi system or headphone rig. Pretty simple, right? And the best thing about doing it on an iPad or an iPhone, this will work with an iPhone, is that we get automatic sample rate switching, which we do not get from Mac OS. So your Mac will output whatever you have set in the audio MIDI app. This, we don't even have to worry about that. It does it automatically for us. But I wanted to show you how that works, but this may be with a different DAC. So we'll unplug the Dragonfly, and I'm gonna connect up this RME DAC. Reviewed this before, this is the ADI2FS. So this USB cable goes into the same adapter. Let me do it the right way. So here I am playing REM's Life's Rich Pageant. Now it says, lost us here, if we click that, it'll tell you that it's coming out at 24-bit 44.1 and on the RME DAC we have 44.1 here. So we can see that the DAC is telling us exactly what's coming out 
and it lines up with what's coming out of the of this app. So if you pull this down, we go back to home. And if I go to REM's best of, and then we click on the lossless thing here, see that's coming out at 2448. And here we've got 48. So you can see what I mean by sample rate switching. The sample rate on the app changes and what comes out of here and into our DAC changes accordingly. Let's go to Neil Young, Crazy Horses, Rest Never Sleeps. Play on that. Pull up that. Now click on the lossless high res thing. It says 24192. 192 is what we've got coming out here. So this, I think, is the best way to run Apple Music and to get high res out of Apple Music. As I've said before, if you just want to use just the normal lossless tier that goes up to 2448, you're good with AirPlay, you're good with TV OS, you're good with this little DAC dongle here that Apple sells, I think eight euros or eight bucks. But if you want high res, you're gonna really need an iPad or an iPhone with the lightning to USB adapter or a USB-C to USB-A adapter. You come out into your external DAC, then this goes out into a hi-fi system. So yeah, I think that's great. If you thought this video was useful, then please hit the like button down below if you like my attitude towards high-end audio. In that, I'm prepared to realize that you know a previous video wasn't either positive enough or thorough enough, and I'm happy to do a follow-up. If you dig that, then please subscribe to this channel. And as always, thank you ever so much for watching.